look at it different? How do you look at it Yeah, I just go out there and be myself. Uh, shoot my shots, uh, play defense, and, you know, they got to fit in and play around me. And with my son, it's a dream come true. Um, uh, for me, um, just to see my son, to be able to, um, you know, be in the NBA alone. And it's always been a dream of his. Um, and for us to be a, um, side by side, it's a lot of words of loss to be honest. I don't know, man, the kid has worked so hard to get back to this point. Um, it's just so much has happened over the last year with him. To have this happen less than a year from his incident to be uh, with our friends and our family uh, when they announced his name, it was uh, something that was super surreal and it's kind of still we still, our family still don't even have enough words to explain the feeling that we had. He's such a great kid, and I'm looking forward to seeing his progression and him continue to get better and better. Um, and as he uh, continues to grow as a young man, he's 19 years old, um, so he has so much room for improvement. But you know, I'm looking forward to, to help him improve. I know the coaching staff is helping him improve, and, and everybody on the team. Uh, so it'll be fun.
mentality. How is being considered an underdog in various points of your career affect the approach the way you approach the game? And what advice do you have for younger players that aspire to be that are considered underdogs and aspire to make the NBA or even the Olympics? Uh, it's, it's helped me. As part of my DNA is how I've seen the game because I was a late bloomer physically and uh, every step of the way I've never been like picked as the best or on the best team. So it's, you have to earn everything you get by hard work and coming with the right approach every day, not taking anything for granted. And even at this stage of my career, with all the things that I've been able to uh, accomplish. And, Team-wise, individually, I still ma maintain that that perspective and that gratitude for the game. So uh, whenever I get the hoop, it's, it's the same mentality. You gotta earn it. You have to, to work for it. Um, you can apply that to, to what we're doing here with USAB, and uh, it's a part of what's made me who I am. So I'm, I'm uh, appreciative of that because it always keeps the game fresh and fun. You know, and, Appreciate that being that you get to experience. Who do you think the best shooter on the team is? Obviously, it's unbusiness. It's pretty unanimous. Did you say beside myself? Oh, yeah, sure. It's unanimous. Oh, uh, personal, on a personal level. Okay, shoot. You got it. No, that's that's what I'm talking about. Katie, probably, I've seen it. I've posed a person with you guys. Four years that we played together, I know he's a knockdown, knockdown shooter uh, from wherever. The point is just to shoot Kawhi. Kawhi is really funny, uh, believe it or not. And the best shot, it's about like, just make it or form. Make it. Make it? Oh, stop. I mean, he's the greatest shooter of all time. What about form? Form? Uh, probably book. That was book had a uh, really, really uh, pretty shot. When the game is on the line, it's going to be the alpha. Uh, I think Kevin Durant. <laughs> He better be. I, that's what I came to see. Who do I look to for advice? Yeah, that's awesome. Of course, KD. That's my favorite player of all time. Anything I want to ask, I look straight to you.